My name is Luis Castillo and thanks so much for being here today. A little bit about the University of Arizona is that we are located in, we are in Tucson, Arizona, it's typically known as the first incorporated city of the state of Arizona, the second largest city in the state. It's a uh, convenient geographic location that allows students to travel to, uh, you know, popular destinations such as LA, San Diego, Las Vegas, uh, or Grand Canyon. A little bit above the city is uh, we have uh, around 500,000 people plus that live in the friendly laid back city of Tucson. As I mentioned, the uh, average temperature, it's uh, really nice, really, really friendly. Um, we have around 18 to 24 degrees um, centigrade. And during the summertime, as I mentioned, it's when it gets a little hot. But other than that, the average winter temperature, it's 18 to 24 degrees um, centigrade. And maybe the final slide to learn more about Tucson, it's um, something that is really interesting, is that it was named the most affordable city, according to Inc. Magazine in 2016. Um, and we know that a lot of students and a lot of parents are worried about the cost and, you know, how much money, what's the investment going to, to be, you know, for not just studying, but living in a place like this. So something really interesting for us to mention is that it was named the most affordable city last year, according to that reputable magazine, Inc. Magazine. Here's a really cool picture, you know, so that sort of shows the ambiance that our students sort of enjoy uh, on a daily or, you know, um, you know, weekly basis when students go out. We have great food, uh, great restaurants, really good atmosphere. Tucson really uh, shines uh, with regards to giving students an option to focus on studies and to be able to enjoy a great atmosphere with friends and family and everything that the city has to offer. A little bit about the University of Arizona. So at the undergraduate level, we offer over 100 degrees. At the graduate level, master's and PhDs, we offer over 200 programs. Also, the University of Arizona is represented, obviously, from, you know, students from all over the world. At the moment, we can say that we have 120 plus countries represented. It's also a large campus, a large university with 375 plus uh, acres of beautiful campus. Uh, so it's a really amazing uh, atmosphere. Something else that we like to talk about is the uh, student to faculty ratio. Uh, we have 22 students uh, per faculty at the University of Arizona. We have 600 plus clubs and organizations where students can enjoy, you know, different uh, resources and, and, and groups and opportunities to explore their interests. For example, if we have students who are interested in computer science and coding and programming, there's clubs for that. If there are students who are interested in sports, um, we offer opportunities for that. We also have cultural clubs. So there's a lot of opportunities to participate um, you know, in, in activities outside of the classroom. Let me share more about the numbers. Uh, so around 43,000, um, it's a total enrollment at the University of Arizona. Typically around 34, 35,000 are undergraduate students. The University of Arizona has the highest graduation rate in the state of Arizona. And that's really important for us to, to talk about because it gives not only the, the students, but the parents the assurance that um, we really go uh, beyond in doing everything we can to help our students uh, to get there, to graduate, to stay in school, obviously, and to graduate. The University of Arizona has um, $650 million in research funding, uh, so the U of A is at the front line of research. Uh, for example, number three in the funding for physical sciences, the U of A Cancer Research Center, 33 uh, psychology labs, um, the UA Mirror Lab, the Supercomputer Agato, Biosphere 2, um, the UA Tree Ring Lab, and of course, uh, numerous collaborations with NASA, including the recent OSIRIS-REx. That's a really cool project that I encourage you to learn more about. There's over 100 undergraduate majors to choose from. The University of Arizona offers, um, obviously, the major ones, then business, science, engineering, law, really famous for, you know, uh, popular and top rankings in those categories. As I mentioned, number one uh, public university in Arizona, number 60 in the nation. According to uh, U.S. News and World Report in 2017, one of the top colleges that pays you back, that's according to Princeton Review in 2016 and 2017. A top 100 global university, according to U.S. News and World Report, the Center for World University Rankings, and also the Shanghai Jiao Tong University in the recent publication from 2017. It was also named the most beautiful college in Arizona, according to Arizona Time in 2017, and a top college in Arizona, according to uh, Forbes in 2017. That's an excellent institution, 
and major publications uh, and ranking systems um, you know around the world um, support that and we offer of course experiential learning you know we offer a really good faculty to student ratio 22 students per faculty we offer of course hands-on learning through the numerous labs and, and clubs and, and organizations and opportunities for students to practice um, what they're learning in the classroom outside of the classroom and access of course to top-of-the-line technologies and equipment and general education courses that expand you know the knowledge uh, outside of their major the students major so experiential learning is at the core <clears throat> of what we offer at the University of Arizona and of course many resources to succeed as I mentioned that basically push for um, the highest graduation rate um, in the state of Arizona at the University of Arizona numerous resources including tutoring the Disability Resource Center we also have more than five campus libraries, computer labs, the study lounges, and international student services. Our unique differentiator at the University of Arizona is the 100% engagement program. The basic definition of the 100% engagement program is that we guarantee that all of our students will practice what they're learning inside of the classroom, outside of the classroom. And we encourage uh, students and parents and everybody to learn more about it at engagement.arizona.edu. So again, that's engagement.arizona.edu. Of course, living on campus, it's an opportunity uh, that students have. And, you know, we have dorms. We have 23 residence halls with full amenities. Uh, students are able to sign contracts or leases, you know, typically 12 months. And a little bit about the cost breakdown. Um, at the moment, these are the, you know, these are the numbers for the next academic year. So 35,000 plus um, is the tuition and fees for the undergraduate program. Um, that's for the academic year, of course. And we also have the cost here for health insurance. All of our students are required, uh, or international students are required to have uh, health insurance coverage, um, which, you know, they purchase through us. And this is because, um, you know, in case of an emergency, they need to be covered. So this is something that it's uh, included in what the students pay. Uh, so at the moment, 1800 plus is for he uh, health insurance. We also estimate around 14000 plus for living expenses. You know, that includes um, food, housing, and transportation. And this is only an estimate. Of course, uh, students could spend more or less, uh, typically less, I would say, because as I mentioned, um, Tucson was named the most affordable city last year. So students and parents should not expect to you know, pay more than this. Um, for example, the average cost for, for rent you know, is around uh, $600, I would say, for a uh, you know, maybe one or two bedroom apartment. So around $600. So it's really affordable. Uh, and uh, the city is not that big. So the cost for transportation uh, is also um, attainable because students are able to bike to campus or walk to campus or take the city bus. Uh, we also offer the Sun Street, um, um, you know, the streetcar that basically connects the main, um, the major districts in the city. And the living expenses is, yeah, it's within that range. You know, fourteen thousand plus is basically the maximum that we estimate a student and parents will need to live and study here uh, in Tucson and studying at the university. Uh, but something that it's great, a really you know great news that we offer at the university for next year, we're going to offer from two thousand up to twenty four thousand dollars in scholarships for the best students who have uh, excellent GPAs, the students who have excellent English proficiency scores as measured by TOEFL or IELTS, and, all, and also excellent uh, SAT or ACT scores. So we encourage you to learn more about it uh, by going to admissions.arizona.edu and under the cost uh, and financial aid section, you can click on international where you will see basically the grid uh, for what we are able to offer to the best students. So at the University of Arizona, we really reward um, you know, um, the best performance and uh, we offer excellent opportunities which are merit-based. So let's move on. How to apply for an undergraduate program. That's a really simple process. We recently launched a new system that is a lot cleaner, a lot easier, a lot better. Um, so we encourage you to apply through our UA Future portal. Uh, and the steps to apply for an undergraduate student, uh, someone who wants to pursue a bachelor's program, uh, there's three steps. Uh, 
the first step, uh, which is really not listed here, but um, really the first step is that we encourage students to review the requirements for your own country, because we do have variations, you know, depending if a student is coming from Chile or from Mexico or from China or the Middle East, we have uh, specific information because we really customize the information based on your background to be able to give you the conversion in terms of the GPA, you know, things like that that you need. So the first step is to, uh, to review the country requirements uh, that are listed on our website. Simply go there and select your country and you'll be able to do that. Once you are ready to apply, these are the three steps to apply. Number one is completing an online application and submitting it. And at the end of that submission process, the students have to pay an $85 application fee. And this is the website to do that, admissions.arizona.edu forward slash international. Then the next step is to submit uh, any high school and or college transcripts. The application offers uh, students a chance to upload uh, materials initially, but later we do have to collect uh, official documents, uh, whether it's high school um, transcripts or college transcripts for those students who intend to, to transfer. So initially you can upload materials through the application or email them, but later we do need to collect the official documents for either high school transcripts or college transcripts. And then the final requirement or the final step to apply is to also submit proof of English proficiency, uh, which is basically or typically, um, you know, I would say met by IELTS scores or TOEFL scores, among others. You could also pursue studying uh, here at the University of Arizona in our language center, the Center for English as a Second Language, where students can come and pursue getting a CECIL endorsement, which is basically something used that can be used to fulfill the English proficiency. Um, so the third step is uh, students are going to, they have to, uh, you know, submit proof of English proficiency, typically through IELTS scores or TOEFL scores or also the CESIL endorsement. And if you do want to learn more about the CESA program, please let us know. Email us at international at email.arizona.edu. You can email us there about anything and we'll be happy to help you. We also offer a chance to apply for conditional admission, which is basically a type of admission that allows students to not have to worry about the English portion. Sometimes students haven't passed uh, or obtained a high score in TOEFL or IELTS. If that's your case, we encourage you to still apply because you can pursue conditional admission. The most important thing for us is the, the GPA, the grade point average, the performance that you have obtained uh, or your background, your academic background from high school. That's really the most important thing and that's for freshman students because um, that's really the most important thing. If your English isn't ready, you can tackle that later by coming, uh, by attending Cecil or, you know, passing the TOEFL or the IELTS score. And at the minimum, for most programs, we require a 70 in the TOEFL. But for business, engineering, law, and nursing, we require a TOEFL of 79. So for most majors, we require a TOEFL of 70. But for the competitive majors, we require a 79 TOEFL. So if you're interested in, in conditional admission, let us know. That's a really good option that we do offer. Uh, for students applying for conditional admission, they have to submit or complete steps one and two above from what it's listed here. But let's move on. If you do have questions about the application process, please let us know. So we encourage you to take the next steps. And we have a variety of next steps that you can take depending on where you're at in the process. You can, um, if, you're, if you come to Tucson, if you're ever in town, you can visit us in person at Bear Down Gym. And here's a link for our map, uh, map.arizona.edu. You can also watch a really cool virtual tool option that we offer. So you can go to uvisit.com uh, forward slash tour forward slash Arizona. Take a virtual tour where you can see how pretty and how awesome our campus is. It's amazing. And we have some different languages available there in case your parents want to, uh, to see. In the future, I hope that we can expand those, those language options. Uh, and at the moment, there's a couple of options there. You can also view and download our brochure. You can go to this link right here, bit.ly forward slash international UA brochure. You can watch our videos on YouTube. 
At the moment, we're working on adding more videos, these types of instructional videos and screencasts uh, and testimonials from our students. You can go to youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Arizona, or you can just search on YouTube. Uh, you can send us an email about any questions or anything that you might need. You can contact us at international at email.arizona.edu. And if you're ready to apply, we encourage you to do that. You can apply online today at admissions.arizona.edu forward slash international. So there's a lot of different steps that you can take depending on where you're at. But we do encourage you to apply to pursue um, you coming here. We would love to welcome you here. You are welcome here. And let's go to the final slide. Um, and we, of course, we encourage you to stay connected through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or email us at, as I mentioned, international at email.arizona.edu. You can also call our office directly. That's the direct line. And visit our website at admissions.arizona.edu forward slash international. As I mentioned, we have a really awesome scholarship that we now offer for next year. Uh, and we encourage you to go to the website to learn more about it and see the details. But um, we primarily encourage you to, to apply uh, as soon as you can so that we can begin the process to review your application. And if you have any questions or need any help, please let us know. We'll be ready to help you. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And we hope that you join us at the University of Arizona. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.